Yo, what's up guys, Nishman235 here, welcome back for another part of New Super Mario Bros. Wii U. I almost said Wii. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a World 7 right here, we're in clouds, and uh, let's get to it, man. World 7 theme is all about the clouds and the sky, and this world is really fun. By the way, uh, sorry for taking so long to upload the next part, it's because... Yeah, like, you guys might be like, Nish, just record the next part already. It's only 25 minutes. Yeah, it is 25 minutes, but... I've been recording for 5 hours. Not every video I upload, like, I don't do it in my first take. By the way, use the gamepad right here. Just makes it much easier and faster. But yeah, I don't really record this, like, I don't... Every video I upload, it's not the first take. It's, like, my 5th or, like, 7th take. Because, um, in my channel, you guys already know, I like to show off the best gameplay possible. Because there's a bajillion new Super Mario Bros. U Let's Plays on YouTube. But, and even though I get, like, just 100 or, like, even 80 views per video, I want my videos or my Let's Plays to be the best freaking gameplay out there. Okay. And look at this. Who else got these Mario suits? Now? I wish I had more people, like, to view it. Like, I don't really care about views that much, but I just wish I had more people to view my gameplay, if that makes sense. But it's alright. Um, third star coming right here. There we go. And we're basically done with this level. We just gotta wait for this banana plant section right here. And, alright, we're chilling. We're done. Let's go. But yeah, guys, I've been recording for five hours. I really hope this is the take. But yeah, let's go to the next level. The next level, we get Yoshi. Oh yeah, Mario time! Look at the background, the clouds moving, the wind, yeah. everything. This game is just really pretty, gorgeous. <laughs> Seesaw shrooms. Now, if you guys don't like to play Yoshi for some reason, you don't have to use them yeah. to get all the Star Coins. You don't really need them for all the Star Coins, but I'm gonna use them because it just makes life easier by eating all these enemies in my path. And plus, look at that. He could jump on fuzzies. So helpful. Ha, ha. You thought you were safe for that plant? No, I'm still gonna eat you. <laughs> and yes, I am still triggered that he's in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, why? Okay, second star coin right there. Oh, come on, get off! Thank you, there we go. Yeah, I wanted to get off of Lakitu's cloud because if you're actually on the cloud, it'll make you go slower, so I'll just rather run so much faster. Been here for the last star coin. Bye, Yoshi, I really appreciate your help, brother. And we're done with this level. Let's friggin' go. Look at that, we got Kamik as our tower boss right there. We're coming after you, Kamik. But first, let's go to the third stage of Marine Cloud, Switchback Hill. I don't know if it's just me, but I love this level to speak one. It's just, I don't know, something about this level, I just love going really fast. Thing. First start going right there. Yeah, in this level, it's just a bunch of bullet bulls trying to hurt you. Oh, and that little block right there underneath, you guys can see the little tunnel. It's just a roulette block, but I'm good. I did not need another item. And come in here for the second star coin. That pipe is so sneaky. Like, how would people know there's, a, there's like a secret pipe right there? But yeah, be careful because it's really easy to get hurt. But if you take your time and whatnot, you shall get your second star coin without getting hit. Oh, by the way, you see the you see these stairs right here? Like these little stairs? You could actually do the one-up trick in this level as well. Like how I did in the first episode of 1-1. Like, look, you guys could grab a Koopa and then um, just hold them in the stairway. And you guys could do the one-up trick right there. But with that, we got all the three star coins. And we could just speed run to the end right here. Just keep gliding. And we're done. Uh, yeah, Mario time. Yeah. 
it's time to beat Kamik. And this boss fight is so similar to the one in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Like, look at New Super Mario Bros. Wii uh, World, uh, no, World 8, actually. Yeah, you, you fight Kamik in World 8 in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but look at the boss fight in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the Kamik fight, and the Kamik fight in this uh, game as well. It's really similar. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I missed. Gosh darn it. Whatever. I'll just go this way. Yeah, that big dry bone blocked my path. Dun, dun. Well, I was slow. If I was fast enough, that big dry bone would have not blocked my way. So that was my fault. Alright, come on. Get that over here. Thank you. By the way, you do not need an acorn mushroom to get that third star coin. But it just makes it a lot easier. What you have to do is you have to keep triple jumping if you don't have the acorn mushroom. If you triple jump, you could definitely get that star coin. These fire bros are actually really annoying. Like, I'd rather deal with um, hammer, like the regular hammer bros, but just the fire bros, man, they're just so annoying. <laughs> I gotta say, I think the acorn mushroom is my favorite flying power up. Actually, maybe the super leap is my favorite power up. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Propeller mushrooms? Like all the power ups that make Mario fly, what is your favorite? I think the acorn mushroom is my favorite, to be honest. There's a tuniki leaf, propeller mushroom. What else makes Mario fly? I think that's all the power-ups, right? But yeah, definitely I love the acorn mushroom. Because the propeller mushroom is useful and all, but it's only like horizontal, you know? Like not really that helpful. But with that, we have completed this tower and let's go fight Kamik. And in the Toniki Leaf, it's cool and all, but you have to like keep your momentum and whatnot. So if you don't really have momentum, you can't really fly. But look how similar this boss fight is to the one in the Wii version. Literally like almost the same thing. Oh by the way, if you have an ice flower, you can actually get rid of his uh, magical spells or whatever that is. So yeah, if you have an ice flower, you can just uh, use your eye. Oh, I almost was not paying attention. Holy crap, I would have been so pissed. You guys have no idea. I've been recording, recording for five hours and I died to that. Heck no, dude. Yeah, these donut platforms, they fall really faster than I thought they would. I mean, we're done. Three hits and he's out of here. With that, we're halfway done with World 7. Let's go to the ghost house. Spinning spirit house. Out of all the ghost houses, this is not my favorite ghost house in this game. It's just annoying. <laughs> I mean, not like it's hard annoying, but there's just a lot of rooms where you have to like wait and stuff. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just like this part right here. I hate it so much because literally you just have to wait like a lot. Like you can't really do anything about it. You can't go like you, you know. You guys know me. I hate waiting, <laughs> and I just hate waiting for this freaking box-like platform dragging me to the goal. Like, let me just thank you. Like, if it didn't have like these type of sections, then I would have been totally cool with this ghost house. That is, do not kill this ghost boxing guy. I forget his name. If you guys know his name, let me know. Because I'm too lazy to Google it. <laughs> but yeah, you want to keep this boxing ghost right here to break open. There we go. That wall. So we get access to the first dark point. And then you can kill him. Oh, by the way, there is a secret exit. So, I'm gonna be doing a secret exit way first because 
the secret way does have the third star queen. But um, when I played in, when I played this stage again for the normal way, don't worry, I'll just cut it back so you guys don't have to see me play the entire stage again. I'll just edit it back to where we left off before we took the secret exit away. I'm gonna come in here. And this room has the second star coin. And you actually have to get this fast. So just make it like pop open to the left side because that's uh, how you're supposed to do it. So the faster you get it to the left side, the more you know time you have to get it. Because uh, if you do not get it fast as possible, this platform will just keep going up and then you won't have enough time to you know, get it. Anyways, the secret exit way is right here. We're gonna come up here and then go to the secret door. And to get the third star queen, make sure to come up here for the P switch and we're good to go. But you might have to hurry because the P switch does make the, the coins into blocks, right? So you will not like hurry up. There we go. Because if you don't hurry up, there'll be like blocks instead of coins blocking your path. And we are done with this level. Oh. Not really because we have to come back for the normal way, but you know what I mean? This way. Wahoo. This way. This secret exit leads us to the Ludwig boss fight. Just completely skipping the other half of World 7. And look at that, we get like a pretty rainbow. Oh snap, we got Nabbit to catch. But real quick, let's go back to the stage and complete it the normal way. You wanna go through this door right here, and we have another freaking box platform where we can't do nothing about it. We're just trapped here, man. I wish there was like a glitch that you could do to get out of here, but there's no glitch. Watch out for these flying fake blocks right here. There we go. Like, let me just finish the level, man. Come on. Go faster, please. I'm just trapped here. Finally, there we go. <laughs> Look at that background. Dude, I wish they had ghost levels, but it was like outside, you know what I mean, with that background? Like, for example, in New Super Mario Bros. DS World 8, the first level in World 8 in New Super Mario Bros. DS was like a ghost type level, but it was like outside. I wish they had more of those type of levels with that background, that would have been dope. Anyways, let's go catch our boy Nabbit. And this is the last time we do have to catch Nabbit, and we don't have to catch Nabbit no more. Because, you know, we have to catch Nabbit in all, in all seven worlds just to get that 100% mark on our profile. Come here, Yoshi. Yoshi, fun fact, can actually catch Nabbit for you. If you eat him, <laughs> yeah, you can catch him like that too. Come on, so many enemies in our path. Oof. I even hit him with the Koopa shell. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Oh, look at that. We got the indication that we caught Nabbit in every single world. Not really because we have World 8 and World 9 to do, but whatever. I'm glad we don't have to catch him anymore. Hopefully we get lucky because I do not have a star in my inventory. Yes! Okay, look, look, look. I gotta follow it. Thank God, dude, we don't have to deal with fuzzies. Because uh, if you actually have a star in your inventory, you can actually go through the you know the enemies in your world map. But sadly, you, you guys can see right there, I don't have any star in my inventory. But let's get to it. We got bouncy cloud boomerang. Look at the clouds. It's like sunset. Beautiful, man. It's like all pinky and peachy clouds right here. Just like Switchback Hill, this is another favorite level of mine in World 7, just to go fast. Do not forget to get that first star coin. I almost actually forgot, actually. Dun, 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 dun. Ha, ha. 
You want to get that bean stock for the second star coin. Yeah, these next levels are pretty short. Which is a good thing, so this video won't be as long. Oh, come on, go in here, dog. There we go. Yeah, uh, it's much faster just to fall down instead of going to the pipe. In my opinion. Watch out for the boomerang bros. And let's just get out of this level, man. We're done. Oh, you get yourself a star power up right here. And let's go fast as possible. Supersonic speed. And we're done. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh snap, I forgot, we might have to deal with fuzzies again. God, please don't make us deal with fuzzies and let's just go to the level, man. Please. Oh my god, yes! Oh, ah, bless up, dude. We don't, we didn't have to deal with fuzzies or anything. Thank God, holy crap, dude. I got extremely lucky right there. A quick dip in the sky. I love this level. You know, in uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, they also had like a bubble stage. Pretty cool. I'm glad they brought it back. I think it was in World 7 as well. They had like a bubble stage in World 7 in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. But thank god, dude, we didn't have to deal with fuzzies. I'm so happy. Dun, 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 dun. Ha, ha. Mario physics, where you could go in water, in the air, and stuff like that. <laughs> Get yourself a secret star right there. Blast off! Beautiful, and we're done. Just like that. Yeah, that stage was kind of short. I'm gonna be using a PE core mushroom for this level because fun fact if we don't go on the snake box then this stage will not be a side scroll level and you guys already know my opinions on side scroll levels I hate them yeah uh, if you do this you can get yourself a bunch of lives by just bouncing on these enemies do not touch the floor and um, yeah you can also do this with a normal acorn mushroom I just chose to do it the P acorn mushroom just to be safe because I do not want to keep recording for another two hours you feel me because right now this one this take is really good yeah do not hit that snake block because as I said before if you hit that snake block this level will be a size scroll level And look, this level would have been like three minutes long, but we completed it in like one minute. <laughs> Dude, let's go, man. Oh yeah, Mario time. Time to face off Ludwig. What the? I thought it would stop showing Nabbit, but whatever. Yeah, we're not gonna be catching Nabbit. No more. Cause we don't have to. Time to defeat Ludwig in his clockwork castle. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the background. You, you could tell that it's like next to the, the, you know, it's purple because of the smoke going out outside next to Peach's castle. So I really like the detail that they did right there. You want to watch out for these guys. They're really easy to take out. Get that second star coin and we're on our way. Dun. Ooh, I almost got squished right there. That would have been so bad. Watch 
Shadow. There we go. And we're done. Look how fast that was. We're coming after you, Ludwig. No, this game in its background this is crazy good. the real one? Okay, yeah it is, let's go. Yeah, not only does the PA Core Mushroom make this level faster, but it makes the boss fight much easier as well. We can just, you know, fly up to him and hit him before he even comes down. Boom, all three hits. We're actually not done yet. We have one more level to complete, which is the airship level. This stage is fun and all, but look how much time we have. We have freaking 600 seconds to beat this stage. Do you know how long that is? And you know why? Because look how slow the side scroll camera is, dude. I hate side scroll levels with a passion. It's just so annoying. Like, it's so slow. Oh, yeah. The gimmick for this stage is um, this giant claw turning out hurt you and whatnot. All you have to do is just duck on these little holes in these platforms and you're pretty much good to go. But yeah, you could go on it. You'll just bump. You won't hurt you. You won't lose your power up or nothing. It'll just bump you off if you're trying to go on it. But yeah, man, look how slow this camera is. It, it just, it annoys me. Do you guys like side scroll levels? I don't think people really like side scroll levels. But I find it really annoying. Oh yeah, now he switches up to punching instead of slapping on the ground. Here comes a giant fist! <laughs> That's a reference to Patrick in Spongebob. You know that reference people used a lot when Bayonetta came out for Smash 4? Here comes a giant fist! Because in Smash 4, Bayonetta's forward smash is literally a giant fist. Finally, halfway done. Actually, not really. I feel like, okay, this stage is literally two levels in one. That's how long this stage is. And fun fact, this is the only stage I believe in this game that has two checkpoints. That's how big this stage, like literally two checkpoints. <laughs> I like how Mario just looked at me right there. This stage is not hard at all. It's just really annoying because you can't go fast. And I'm a type of person that just likes to go fast. If they do ever make a future new Super Mario Bros. game, can we not have side scroll levels, please? That'd be really nice. Oh, really? Dang, that metal fire thingy lasted forever. Oh yeah, for the third star going, you do need an acorn mushroom, so make sure to like not get hurt a lot. But uh, you actually can get an acorn mushroom right here, even if you're short from this. Uh, come on, pop up over here. 
this green ring right here, so make sure to get this if you don't have your acorn mushroom. Just be careful, take your time, because literally you have a lot of time. So try not to rush even though know, there's no need to rush because this stage is so limited to where you can go. Alright, finally. Goodness gracious. Look at that, another checkpoint. <laughs> Time to defeat Bowser Jr. Now, if you still have your acorn mushroom, you can literally just fly up there and hit them right there. Instead of doing it the long way. One more hit. And of course, I missed the third hit. It's okay, I can hit him more. I'll show you guys. Now, you can throw a bomb -bom on him, or you can just stomp on him like, right there. And that's how Bowser Jr. got his moveset for Smash Bros. <laughs> With that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you did enjoy. Comment on your favorite part and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time in World Day.